A local DA admitted he made a mistake and now his son's DUI case is starting over. Yeah, this is a case where reporting by Channel 11's Melanie Gillespie led to significant changes at the local and state levels. And new at six, we are hearing from the victim of this DUI crash for the very first time. Melanie? Yeah, David, Lisa, we got a copy of that letter the district attorney sent to the AG's office and in it, he said he made a mistake and misinterpreted the statute and is now handing his son's DUI case over to the state. But also at the center of this is that other driver involved in the crash. We talked to him and he said he wants everybody to be treated fairly. And when I looked at it, I was ser I was honestly surprised that I that I lived. I was Count, I counted my blessings that day. Josh but Willard has no animosity or bitterness after he was hurt in a wrong way DUI crash on Route 119 in August involving the Fayette County District Attorney's son, Richard Bauer Jr. I saw the headlights and I just, considering it was a four-way highway, they weren't supposed to be there. I couldn't wrap my head around what it was. Mm -hmm. And by the, time it, I, by the time I realized what it was, he was already on top of me. Willard was taken to the hospital after the crash and luckily ended up with minor injuries. But while there's been skepticism and scrutiny surrounding the case, he says he just wants to see everyone treated equally. Everybody's accountable for their actions. It doesn't matter who you are or what your station. You can be the Queen of England. You do wrong, you're going to pay for it, or you should anyway. The handling of the case involving the DA's son, Rich Bauer Jr., came into question after Bauer recused himself and appointed a Union Town attorney as a special prosecutor to oversee the case. The DUI charges were dropped, and a more serious charge of recklessly endangering was substituted. After we reached out to the AG's office yesterday, the office responded saying because of a conflict of interest, the case should have been handed over to them in the first place. Now DA Bauer admits he made a mistake and misinterpreted the law when he appointed a special prosecutor. He sent this letter to the attorney general's office asking them to take over and to reinstate the charges and schedule a preliminary hearing for his son. If the shoe was on the other foot and it was me, no, I, the, the, they would have closed the book on me. I would have been done. Meantime, Willard hasn't heard from investigators since the night the accident happened, despite reading in the news that police said he was going to be charged, too, for driving under the influence. Those charges haven't been filed. No matter the outcome, he's just hoping for fairness across the board. I'm honestly not really feeling it too much of anything. As long as, as, long as everything is fair, and I reached back out to the AG's office today. They told me they haven't received the referral yet, so they said it would be inappropriate for them to comment on an investigation coming to their office. Reporting live tonight, I'm Melanie Gillespie for Channel.